Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you're truly lost, you enjoyed the mid. Let's see what we have. We have 4 XP that I don't want to use because I want to become smarter. Which is either 9 points or 8 points. Either way, we're not going to use that right now. We have Carnival of Death and Mod Hunt. And Connect of the Ground. I can think that's. Currently, our only two choices. Up in. Yeah, let's go. But first, Santa Monica. Lovely evening. Indeed, this is the wrong street. We want to go home. And I also want to see what we can get from that apartment from here. Which is what we're gonna do first, actually. Let's stop by here. You still haven't cleaned your room, have you, Mercuria? Anything I can do for you tonight? I need to find some answers. Do you have Concerning? anything? Uh, the lizard people? Who exactly? I think I've asked you about these things, haven't I? Yeah. All right. In that case, do do do. Discipline's not allowed. <laughs> Chuck shot swimsuit shoot. 98% chance that someone has gone wild. What? So it was like you cannot use disciplines, but then I did it anyway. So how are you? Anything I can do for you tonight? I need some nasty little toys. What do you have for sale? You just have ammo right now, don't you? Oh well. Thanks anyway. Whatever happened to this dude? Oh, we have that going on again. I'm not happy about that. How bad is my humanity? Seven points. Mm, it's not the worst. But it's not the best. Hello, friend. While you were gone, I tapped my foot over 3,000 times. I don't know why I counted. Huh. I have the same habit. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. There's a truth you must know, my pet. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? If your negative was blood, I would never go hungry. No, I am the undead. That makes sense. It all makes sense. Those feelings that something's there in the dark? It wasn't my imagination. It's not crazy at all. Yes. You're starting to understand, my ghoul. I'm so proud it's of you. It's like you've pulled the shades off my mind's window. I can see now. There's a whole world out there. It's mind-blowing. And it only gets better. I will show you truth and love like you've never known. You will. I do love you so much. Whatever you are. I don't care. I just want to be with you. Ah, that is my adoration running through your veins. All for you. Only you. What can I do to show my appreciation? Tell me a story about yourself. It's all a blur of nonsense. I'd rather forget the past, the ignorance, than just follow your trail of headcrumbs into Wonderland. Oh, wherever that rabbit hole leads, you'll be right behind, <laughs> beside me. Uh, plead for me. Please, take me inside of you. That sounds different. Oh, she doesn't actually have blood, blood does she? Oh, <laughs> showing me different things. Okay, well done. Thank you for your time. What's on TV? Though police disagree and have started a sweep of the areas where the crew was filming, a massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence. Nothing too interesting, I guess. I did want to check my email. That's why I'm here. Uh, yeah. Be paid favors. Stop by my apartment when you get the chance. I'll set you up. Eight. Don't touch the butter. The new extreme sport that's sweeping the nation is now on a limited edition DVD. Watch superstars Iron Will McMahon, Brock Dryhands Heinz, and Margarine Mike Davenport as they use every bit of restraint in their body to not touch the butter. One bowl of butter, two contestants, three judges, and a hell of a lot of willpower to order log on to www.dontouchthebutter.vampire.masquerade. Cool. 
How do you resist touching the butter then? You would touch the butter, right? You want to touch the butter right now, don't you? That sounds like something she do. Okay, well... She has different Wait, outfits as well, so... Okay. Uh... What is this? Is that the Play one? with me? Or is... Okay, you may please me in the future, I am gone. So the next time I'm here, I guess she'll be wearing a different outfit? Well, okay. Play with me? Uh... Okay. My mind went to the way I met you, because that is a really cute outfit, and you cannot change my mind about that. Glasses are cute. That's all. Alright, so we are going to Kraut's place. Though I did read the email now, so apparently Mercurio is supposed to set us up. Preferably with goodies. How are you doing? I can do for you tonight? I need some nasty little toys. Did you get any upgrades from that? No. Okay, never mind. Have a good time. Now, what is this movie I have? No idea, no idea how to use it either, so that's that's a strange one. Right, right. I keep forgetting how graphic is currently once again being rather unpleasant. I think it's from me all diving out of the game too early to get Audacity running. Going somewhere. <gasps> Bodily functions are the night for me for now, just try. Let's go to Crouch Mansion. You, what are you doing here? I'm wandering the mystical maze of my mind. No. no. Your words are a little wobbly, as we can hear the echo behind them. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Your mouth is making mystical mush. Strange encounter indeed. Right. Uh, did I get stuck on something? Really? Oh, I'm free. Let's go inside. Hello, you doing okay? Are you okay? I'm gonna guess not. Oh. I thought they were vampires, you know? Maybe not. Quest log. You just entered Crouch Mansion and something about it doesn't feel quite right. I wonder if it's the amount of people here. Are they humans? This one doesn't feel like, seem like a human. It doesn't suffer a final death. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. <sighs> no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods 
I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. I mean, Freud essentially just took money to spread lies, didn't he? Do, 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 do. I can't open this door? I can open this one though. <gasps> Looks like someone is playing with a lamp. <laughs> oh well I'm gonna have to stop Mr. Kickler over here before I continue on with anything. Okay, not a vampire I guess. Because I think if I would train a vampire I would gain incredible power. Perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and then it in turn, turn warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time, and the mind itself. Far more progress is made. Okay, well, I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. Also, I just got a new book, didn't I? Ooh. Nice. Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time, insane asylums. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. Eh, I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Well, that explains why he has so many nice people here. Okay, so what do we need? Perception at once shapes the mind, it rules over time, time horror erodes human perception, and then in turn warps the mind. Okay, so this is the mind. This is time. This is perception. can go by the looks of it that might unlock at a later point in time as might this did these lights turn green very recently or were they green for a while now hi Oh no, there's a claw, a claw fellow coming. They don't like claw fellows. Claw fellows deal supernatural damage, which is something I don't think plot can heal. My blood is my friend. If they were vampires. The Camarilla would kill me in a moment. For Diablery. Look at this stuff up there. You can see the sparkles. You can also see how that thing is not working for me right now. Ah, there we go. This is also locked. This is also locked. And this is locked, so... 
This was literally the route I was supposed to be using. That's fine. Hey, how you doing? Just hanging out. Oh, you! How dare you! I oh, see. Okay, blood does heal the yellow damage as well. I would crowd the crypto with those there. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. That does sound messy. How are you? You're being dead. Okay. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Oh no, it's a tower. A very spirally tower. That's a nice house you have here, Mr. Grout. That was a hell of a view from there. A bit of an odd structure. Including one's home. Oh, you stabbed me. That's rude. Well, close, come here. Not gonna let you scratch me. That deals yellow damage. And I want my health bar to be blue like water and not yellow like piss. Okay, that's locked. And that's an openable door. That's an openable door. Most of these are openable. Hello, girls. I mistook that for a mirror for a moment, but it's not a mirror. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. 
Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. <laughs> That's fun. Oh. Is that right? Does this also bring us back here? Where we still have this locked door. I believe we still have this locked door. So I'm missing something. Probably something in here, to be honest. I thought there was a way just through here. That made me remember. I need to find something that would disable either one of these locks. recall seeing anything that would help me in that matter. I mean this torso isn't gonna help me is it? Most likely not, no. looking for is there anything in my quest log no just that something doesn't feel right oh there is a button here gotcha Stop me, can you believe that? Come on, come here now. See, it clears away the piss from my health bar. Which is a good thing. Alright. Oh, and we are now here. Which means we can open this shortcut. But don't know how badly I needed that right now. Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as the perception thereof. Time is the key that brings the two of and pairs witness their ebb and flow. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian. The dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer. So named for some supposed vampire father figure of old. More poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. 
Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. <laughs> what is this book? What's that downstairs? I'm also supposed to handle another thing here. Let's store there again. Just like the mine, I guess. Okay, chaos all the time. Wait. So chaos all the time. Was this the same door anyway? Might have just been the same door anyway. Okay. Let's shut this down. What's this? Tower Fang. Didn't you already have one of these? No. These artifacts just look mighty similar to one another. If I now flip the switch as well, that changes nothing. What does this do? Ah! It opens a door. Oh, handy. Oh, and this is here. Of course. Of course. So I can now just wander along into here. I think this is where I'll call this particular episode. So I'll catch you next time, when we will explore Krauts in a Sanctum. Bye bye!